Team coverage turns now to those trying to escape the hurricane, with many people flying here to South Florida for safety. And there are also efforts in our area to help collect items for everybody in need. Local 10 News reporter Joseph Ojo is live in Doral Forest to tell us about that very important mission. Joseph. And these volunteers, they really are hard at work. They prepare well ahead of time to get all these boxed up supplies to hard hit areas. This really is an ongoing effort to help get this much needed aid to those vulnerable countries in the Caribbean. At the Global Empowerment Missions Warehouse in Doral, the work is ongoing to get much needed aid to hard hit areas. We need to help each other more at these times because you never know what is going to happen. The wrath of Burl, devastating Barbados, where Sonia Harris' mother lives. My mom is, she just turned 89 years old and one of her, her boat was one of them that get turn over into the sea. The storm's path even leading Jamaica to shutter its two airports in Kingston and Montego Bay. Concerns over catastrophic impact led American Airlines to add extra flights to get people out before the storm. Couldn't sleep last night because I don't know if I would be able to get out today. So, but it worked out fine. And we are inside this facility here in Doral where the donations continue to keep pouring in. You can see that they have cans here, water bottles, lotion and shampoo wipes and even makeup kits. All of these will be put into boxes by these volunteers that you've seen here and then they will be shipped out to many of the hard hit areas. We're getting ready and mobilizing here a global empowerment mission. We are organizing emergency kits. Anytime a storm threatens our neighbors in the Caribbean, South Florida steps up to lend a helping hand. Preparation mode in full effect Wednesday, box by box, volunteers packing these care packages for families of two to three that can last a couple of days. And so this mission here, they are looking for items and supplies such as generators and sleeping bags. Not only are they looking for donations as well, they're hoping that also they can get volunteers to come out for a full list of what donations they can use to help people in need. You can head over to our website, local10.com. We're here in Doral. I'm Joseph Ojo, Local 10 News.